We are in the double portion year. So a lot of people are going to be having double of things. So 16 years ago, I was pregnant with twins. Um, when I remember when I went to the hospital to give birth to, or I'm sorry, not give birth. When I went to the hospital and I found out I was pregnant with the girls, I did not know I was pregnant with twins. In fact, I was going to the hospital because they told me that I had an optopic pregnancy. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's basically where um, a bag is, um, a sack is fertilized, but the baby is not like developing so they told me that there was nothing there they told me that there was nothing there and i need y'all to rock with me for a minute because i know that there's going to be a lot of prophetic insight in this um not that i'm a prophet or nothing but listen this story is going to help encourage somebody so um they told me that it was an empty bag, but I had like this crazy faith. I have always had crazy faith. So they told me my next doctor's appointment was going to be a vaginal ultrasound. And if they did not hear anything, a heartbeat, that I was going to have to go right next door and do a DNC, which is basically like a medical um, abortion to have the sac removed. So, um, I go in and before the night before I go in, I had an, a, dream, a dream about me giving birth to triplets. So I walk into this room and I'm like, hey, y'all, hey, y'all, like waving at the, the um, receptionist and waving at everybody. And they're like, um, why is she happy? Does she not know what this place is? And I'm like, I definitely know what this place is, but I also know the type of God I serve, right? I know the God that I serve. So I walk in, they do the vaginal ultrasound and they realize I'm pregnant with twins and the reason why they didn't hear the girl's heartbeat is because they were laying on top of each other so they didn't hear the heartbeat and so I go home I'm super excited because I'm having these twins and I'm, I'm pregnant and I'm getting ready to have these beautiful girls me and my ex-husband had already had two boys so it was like this perfect little family that we were gonna have and I'm sharing this story to share with you. Sometimes you are pregnant with something or you are expecting something and everybody around you does not see it, does not believe it. But when God expands you, no one can do anything about it. No one can take that from you. No one can um, remove what God has already placed inside of you. So it was such a beautiful thing that the doctors, um, my nurses, all the people that were connected with me thought that what I was carrying was empty. How many of you guys feel like for year after year after year, you've been saying, I'm going to write the book. I'm going to get in a relationship. I'm going to birth the business. And everybody around you feels like what you're carrying is empty. But you know that there's something inside of you. And you know that God is getting ready to expand you. And when God expands you, no one, I mean, no, tap your neighbor and say, no one can do anything about it. I don't know anything about it. I don't know who needed to hear this brief word of motivation and inspiration, but I'm here to tell you that what it looks like currently, it may look like you're empty. It may look like that promise that you have been waiting for for years and years and years. There's nothing there. Just like they thought when I was pregnant with my twins that there was nothing there, but God had to show them and I had to um, activate my faith and believe that Regardless of what it looks like, God told me that I was carrying something. God, if God has told you that you're carrying something, put it in the chat and say, it does not matter what it looks like. I know that I'm carrying something bigger. Right now to the world, it may look like it's empty. To the world, it may look like ain't nothing gonna come of it. To the world, it may look like, you know what? This is an empty dream, an empty promise. She been talking about she gonna start her business forever. She's been talking Talking about she gonna get in a relationship forever she's been talking about blah 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 whatever you know whatever that thing is but you you know uh -uh, there's something brewing inside of me there's something that is getting ready to happen I don't know when I don't know how but that, that heartbeat is
is about to start beating. Just like when I went to that vaginal ultrasound and they told me that I was going to have to get a DNC and I was going to have to abort it. There's been people in your life that's been telling you to abort, abort your dreams, abort your promises, abort the things that you've been hoping and believing God for. But God wants you to know, do not abort it because what everybody else sees is not what God sees. What everybody else believes is happening with you is not what God is telling you is going to happen for you. And if you just hold on, God is faithful and just to expand everything that you have that's waiting to be birthed inside of you. I pray that this really quick brief word of inspiration inspires you. Listen, I don't get on live that often, but I'm going to push myself to try to get on live a little bit more often. As you are growing, as you are birthing that thing inside of you, you going to need a midwife. You going to need somebody to help you push that thing out. This um, March, March 12th, I am having my third annual Blossom Brunch where there's going to be a collective of women, a very small, intimate group. Because listen, when you hold in something precious, and, and now with COVID, right, you can't have nobody in the um, delivery room. So there's not a lot of people that need to be there when you're birthing out something special. So I am only hosting 10 to 15 ladies that know, you know what? I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. There's something inside of me that needs to be birthed. Now I'm here to tell you ladies, I only got five tickets left. There's only five tickets left. If you click the link in the description of this live, you will be able to purchase your ticket to the third annual Blossom Brunch where we are birthing things. We are going to be able to call things that are not as though they are. We are going to, because there's going to be other women in the room that see that baby inside of you, that see that gift inside of you, that see that um, promise that's inside of you. Thank you so much, Shakara. I want you guys to come grab your ticket to the Blossom Brunch. It's going to be in Riverside, California. If you're in Southern California, grab your ticket. Maybe you like Tamika. You know what? This word inspired me so much. And I can't be there because I live in New Jersey. I live out of state. I live in Louisiana. I live wherever. But I want to purchase a ticket because I know that there's somebody that can use that ticket that it's going to inspire them. DM me and say, Tamika, let me purchase a ticket for somebody. The Blossom Brunch is going to be beautiful. We're going to have a photographer. We're going to have a catered brunch. We're going to have live or ambient music, whatever that means, right? My daddy keeps telling me ambient music. We're going to have all this amazing stuff. There's going to, and if you know me, you know, I don't do anything without giving from the abundance of what I received because there was a time in my life that people told me I was empty, that people told me my dreams was empty and I kept pushing and I kept believing and I kept serving and I kept fighting and I kept wanting, just pushing until that dream came to life. I'm about to leave this so I could get out this hot sweater because I'm hot and I'm sweating because I got this light out here so I could look a little bit half decent and my kids need to eat and I need to cook for my husband and all that good stuff. <laughs> so I'm about to end this live, but I want you, I want to personally invite you over to my Blossom Brunch. If you are like, you know what, Tamika, this inspired me because I've been holding on to something for so long and people told me I was empty, but I know that my dream has a heartbeat. I know that my business has a heartbeat. I know that my life, somebody needs to come to this Blossom Brunch that they feel like their life doesn't matter. They feel like their life doesn't have a heartbeat and they're holding on. Connect with me. Come on over to the Blossom Brunch. Grab your ticket. The link is in the description. Also, you can go to Tuesday with 